Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Samiha Deirdia and I post videos on Scratch, so please do consider subscribing. Today we'll look into the pen extension and create a small paint app in Scratch, so I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the simple paint app we'll be creating today. Here you can see we have the preview says will change so will the color and here we can draw by pressing the space key here we have a few buttons so here I also have the erase and the erase all all these buttons have two costumes real simple sprites so I'm going to draw them meantime make it subscribe all right so here I've drawn these sprites hope you subscribed so first sprite here we have is the pencil which has two costumes, the pencil and the eraser. Then we have the other buttons, which is draw with two costumes. One is the highlighted one and one is the initial one. Same goes with erase and erase all. Then I have the sidebar, which is just a rectangle and a pencil too, which will come to later. Next, I have these few variables, which I've put into slider mode. We have hue, saturation, brightness and pen size. Now in Scratch, usually sliders are, a slider's range is 0 to 100, but we want the pen size to be limited from 10 to 50, so I'm going to right click and change slider range. The minimum value we want it to be 10, and maximum value we want it to be 50. Okay, now let's start coding. Alright, so now let's add the pen extension. To do that, I'm just going to go to the extensions tab and we'll click this pen. Great, now we have our extension added with all the various blocks. What this extension does is that it allows you to draw on the screen. So let's use that. First, I'm going to get a one green flag clicked. And initially, I want the sprite to go to the back layer. And we'll switch the costume to pencil as we have two costumes, pencil and erase. Then here, I'm going to set the pen size initially to 10. And then we want all the previous drawings to be erased, so we're going to erase all. And I'm going to get a forever loop. So forever, we're going to set pen size to the variable pen size. And then we're going to make this follow the mouse pointer, so we're going to go to mouse pointer. And we'll activate the drawing when the space key is pressed, so... I'm going to get an if then else condition. If key space is pressed, then we're going to do pen down. Else we're going to do pen up. Okay, so let's test this. Okay, our pencil is following the mouse pointer. I'm going to press space. And great, so when I start again, the drawing is deleted. Great. All right, so now let's code the erase button. So when green flag clicked, I want it to start with the initial costume, which is costume 1. So I'm going to switch costume to 1. And then when the sprite is clicked, we want to switch costume to the next costume. So I'm just going to put next costume. And then we want to check if the costume number is equal to 2, which is the highlighted one. So costume number is equals to 2 then here I'm going to create a variable and I'll name it is eraser this will be a global variable so I'm just going to hide it and then we're going to set is eraser to true and here we're going to broadcast a message I'll call it erase Now I'm just going to copy this code to this draw button because the code is going to be pretty similar. Okay, so here we want to start with the highlighted costume as we're starting with the pencil initially. And then when the sprite clicked, we're going to go to the next costume. And then here we're going to set is eraser to false. And I'm going to broadcast pencil. 
All right, so now I'm going to come to the pencil sprite. And when I receive erase, I'm going to switch costume to erase. And I'm going to duplicate this. So when I receive pencil, I'm going to switch costume to pencil. And now I'm going to come to the variables and get this set block. So I'm going to set is eraser to false. I'll put this at the start right here. Okay. Now let's change the color of the pen. For that, I'm going to get another one green flag clicked. And here I'm going to set U to zero, brightness to zero, saturation to zero as well. So basically we're starting with the color black and forever. I'm going to get an if then else condition. So we're going to check if is eraser is equals to false. Then I'm going to set the pen color to the variable hue. I'm just going to duplicate this. We'll set pen saturation to the variable saturation. And also we're going to set pen brightness to the variable brightness. Okay. Now, if er is eraser is true, then we're going to set the pen color to white as our background is white, so it will give the effect of erasing. Now, I'm going to come to the draw button and here when I receive um, erase, then I'm going to switch to the first costume. Just going to duplicate this here. In the arrays, we're going to put when I receive pencil. All right, so now let's code the arrays all. So when green flag clicked, I want you to start with the initial costume, costume one. And then when the sprite is clicked, I want to switch to costume two. And then we'll erase all. And after that, we're just going to wait 0 0.01 seconds. This wait is just to give time to change the costumes. And then we're going to switch costume back to costume one. Okay, so let's test this. Okay, now I'm going to change a color to something else. I'm not really sure what color this is. So we'll add a preview of the color and the size. So let's click here and we're going to draw. Okay, it's a green. I'm going to try and erase a part of it. Okay, and let's erase all. Great, now let's add the preview. Okay, so now we're going to use the pencil too. Let me just show it. So you can see it's at the right edge of the screen. This is where I'm going to show the preview. So when green flag is clicked, I want to go to the position it is at right now, which in this case is X200 and Y140. And then we're going to get a forever loop. So forever, I want to set pen size to pen size plus 10. So I'm going to set pen size to pen size plus 10. The variable pen size plus 10. Okay, and then I'm going to set the pen color to a white. Now this is that we can erase whatever we've drawn before as we're going to put a dot continuously forever. So then we're going to do pen down. And then again, I'm going to set pen size to pen size. And then we're going to do something we did previously, which is we're going to set pen color to hue. Set pen saturation to saturation. 
and then we're going to set pen brightness to brightness. Okay, and then after this, we're going to do pen down. I'm just going to hide this right now. Let's test our program. Okay, so here you can see we have the preview. As I increase the pen size, the pen size there will also increase. And I'm going to change the color a bit. I think I like that one. And here I'm going to draw. So you can see we're not able to draw on top of the preview. And also I'm going to come to the erase. We're also not able to erase the preview. I'm going to erase all. Great, our preview is still there. So thank you so so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and if you have any suggestions let me know in the comment section down below. You can also follow me on my Insta, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye!